Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought um, yeah, I could do another scenario editor tutorial since it's uh, just been a while uh, since I did some of those and I have received several requests and some positive feedback so I thought hey why not do another one. So today I'm um, talking about a little bit uh, advanced topic which is uh, how to use variables in, in the scenario editor. So uh, if you would know nothing about the scenario editor, I think your approach should be just, uh, yeah, take a condition, um, like this time and set a timer to like X and then have several other triggers interact with that X. Thing is, you can only put set values in here. So for example, you can only put a certain number or any number here in uh, a timer, but you can't just use yeah, a variable. But um, there is a workaround of this. Or I'm pretty sure there are several ones. And I'm gonna show you one that I personally uh, worked with in the past. So it works, um, let me quickly go here with the destroy object trigger. So, um, let me just jump here. These fence pieces, and you can take uh, pretty much any building or unit for this, um, have a certain amount of HP. So, so you see one of them, uh, they has uh, 199x, so they is on 200 HP, the other one on 400, and the last one on 700. And I got several yeah, attack waves here coming, um, and they are all each tied to one of those fence pieces. And now, how do I get these fence pieces destroyed? First of all, I've just put a simple timer here, which damages all of the fences. So every every um, in-game second, each of those will receive front damage. And, um, well, this is, so far, it's just a simple timer, or in fact, these are three timers in here. But um, you can also interact with those fences in other ways. So here, for example, I got this uh, attack um, of my side landing over here. And if I take out this outpost here, see this, destroy this object. Then um, I change the HP up, uh, of those fences by 40. So I add 40 to the HP, which means uh, the re reinforcements will come 40 seconds later. Uh, then the next trigger here is uh, the scout, and um, yeah, as soon as I destroy this object, I add 60. But if the scout gets away, so gets to this area, gets deleted, and um, all of those fences get damaged by 60. So it works in both ways here. And uh, well, you finally. Town center is just some some gameplay. It has nothing to do with the variables as itself. So if you just go to the town center, uh, you get control of buildings and get some resources. And finally, you win the game. Uh, so this little demo: if you destroyed all of player two's units in this area, so it owns fewer objects than than zero, so zero or fewer, and then player one wins this game. So just uh, gonna demonstrate this quickly so you get an idea of how it works out in a well, testing environment. So here I also um, now used some um, African, African uh, Rise of the Rajas units here since um, well, I didn't have the chance to do a scenario with those just yet. So uh, they look fairly good I have to say. Um, so here you can see we got those three fences and each of those loses HP and they also you know, will all got different amounts of um, health which means that the attack waves will come in at several uh, at several different points so let's speed this up a little bit here so first of all I will try to get rid of this outpost and that shouldn't be too hard. So 
to this one. Focus it for now. And now the messenger here already started to, the light cavalry already started to run away. Quickly. Do some cheating here. And here he is, and as soon as he arrives over there, he will disappear and uh, decrease the HP of those fences by 60. Oh. There we go, they're on 480 now. First one got destroyed, so the first uh, reinforcement here, this crossman is already spawned. The second wave is over here, but uh, they are cut off by a few forests. It's also used three different uh, ways of, well, spawn in armies. First one was just simple spawn all units and give them an attack move to this base. And the second one is a pre, uh, well, pre-set army here. It's cut off from the rest of the map. So this will require some space, but it's pretty much the easiest way to do things. And the last one will be a, a multi, um, multi-trigger construct, which uh, one is um, just spawning for units, and it's looped. So every three seconds, I think they will be units respawning, and they will send over here. And after 25 seconds, the spawning will stop, and all those units will start to move over. Alright, so the second attack, since I spent some time talking there, is about to hit me soon. So I should move my case to take control of the city here. Just by taking it down the town center, as I already showed you. And, um,. Bring this up again. I see uh, trees got removed. They soon started walking. And I should also maybe start to train some soldiers. Not sure if I'm strong enough. Uh, let's try to do this now. Pop off the ball. Okay, so the last one still going down, and I could uh, have included several other ways. So um, that's pretty much all uh, sorts of the stuff. Maybe you could say that uh, you bribe the enemy uh, general so he can send his army a little bit later. So you know, maybe send some resources over. The attacks will arrive later, or something like that. And you also can use this for uh, well, all sorts of things. Thing is, um, once a timer reaches zero, so once the uh, fence is destroyed, well, it's dead, and uh, you can't uh, increase the HP afterwards. Um, you could, in theory, with a little bit more working around, create new fences, give them extra HP, and then um trigger on there definitely again, but that's, that that would be very complex and I try to keep it as simple as possible here while having the maximum functionality so uh this is something you should be able to do for yourself without having an incredible amount of experience here and I hope this was helpful. Let's speed this about up again so I can show you a final attack and how that's working out and then I should conclude this video. There we go, 3, 2, 1 and 0, it's dead. Now we see the units spawning here. Let me a few uh, ticks and uh, well, they, they just gather here. And now spawning stopped and they started to 
attack me here. I'll move to attack me. Okay. I got a few two little pikes here. Okay, but at least those are very violently squishy, so that's going out as well. Okay, but uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you. Uh, so, yeah, I hope this has been helpful to you, and uh, I'm also already looking forward to any scenarios you might be doing with this. If you're using it, if you've got any more questions, just uh, feel free to ask uh, me. And um, yeah, maybe I could feature your next scenario on my channel as well. So, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day and see you on the next video. Bye.